What a buck. What a buck. What a buck. buck right there folks I'm very really fortunate that I got this buck but I'll tell you what I'm 60 years old and I hunt like I'm 15 I don't got quit in my constitution uh, I know some people that are younger than me that can't even fill my shadow when it comes to hunting they just don't want to get up and move you can't make excuses like Chris Ledoux said five dollar fee for whiners and I, I don't go around whiners during the deer season because all that is is a bummer. You don't want to be around down people. You get around down people, and that'll get you on the couch faster than anything. Stay away from the crowds. Be a leader, not a follower. Just because ten people miss deer, that's their fault. I don't care about those ten people. I don't even want to hear their stories. There's plenty. Of, there's 11, and I, 11 months now to hear all that BS. Stay in the woods. That's where the deer are. Keep focused. And don't lose your, your focus and don't lose your drive. Too many people think, well, I did this and I did that. There's no paycheck in bow hunting deer. None at all. You can hunt all year long. I was prepared for that mentally. This was the 30th of November. That's the third deer I've killed on the 30th of November. Most people hung up their bows and got sob stories. Not this cat. I'm one of the old school son of a bitches that keeps stays right out of here. This is where you're going to kill the deer. You're not going to kill it in an archery shop telling a half-ass story, whining about what ifs and what ads. You're going to kill that deer right out here. This is where you're going to kill that deer. You're going to kill it in the woods. You're not going to kill it uh, in your house. You're not going to kill it at a shop. You're not going to kill it at a beer joint. You're going to kill it in the woods if you're going to kill it. So don't let other people bring you down. It's real easy if you're young to get around downer people, and they'll bring you down faster than, than uh, Hindenburg was bought down. Stay away from them. Stay in the woods. Stay focused. And do it the mealy way. The hard way. And I hate to borrow that from Bar Fred Barton, but that's a fact, Jack. Find your way and stick to it. Don't stick to the bone collectors and this, the pearly white teeth people, because those people are hunting in unsurreal places. They're hunting on basically deer camps where they raise deer. These deer here are wild deer. And they're not, I, you know, you don't go out and videotape them every day. You don't have, notice, this don't have no ear tags in them, folks. There's no ear tags in my deer. What he scored, I had no idea. I knew he was big. I knew it was the 30th of November. So you put it on him. And that, thanks to that Hoyt bow and the great characteristics of that muzzy uh, arrow flight, it was just beautiful. Went right to him and took him out at 30 yards. Now, you only got one shot, and that's it. Most of you people think you're going to get several shots at trophy deer. That's where you're mistaken. You get one shot if you're lucky in a year. And you can hunt your ass off and not get that one shot. So when you get that one shot, you get the most mileage out of it. Have a good day. We got her done, Chuck.